Now I have sung the praises of titles, tags, and thumbnails for YouTube when it comes to SEO, when it comes to click-through rate on a YouTube channel. But I gotta tell you, there are five places that you absolutely, without a doubt, cannot forget to put your keywords and sprinkle them throughout a YouTube channel. And I'm gonna share that right now. So the first place you wanna put your keyword is in your video file. So when you're exporting your video from either iMovie or Final Cut Pro or wherever your editing program is, you want to make sure and save the file name as your keyword, okay? So if your keyword is basketball goals, you would save that video as best basketball goals or something similar. Google knows all and YouTube is owned by Google, so YouTube knows all by default, okay? They know, they see, those file names make a difference. Just like on a blog post, an alt tag of an image makes a difference. What you name your files makes a difference. So make sure that you're using the keywords in your file name. Next, obviously, is gonna be the thumbnail. So when you're creating a thumbnail for your YouTube channel, you want to save the thumbnail with your keyword in it. Most of my traffic comes from YouTube search. So I'm gonna say, overwhelmingly, I think it makes a difference. Number three you have to put your keyword in your title. The title is one of the most important factors. It's definitely one of the first impressions that a viewer gets of your channel and your video. And if your keyword is in the title, it's clear right off the bat what your video is about. And then you can use one related keyword or LSI keyword within the title in order to help boost the rankings. Now, if you don't know what LSI keywords are, go check out my video on what LSI keywords are because it's very important when it comes to Google indexing and YouTube indexing. The fourth place where you absolutely have to put keywords is in your description. Now your description has 5,000 character limits. That's a lot of character limits, guys. There is a lot of room for you to write out everything that you possibly can about your video. So you want to share information about what your video is about and sprinkle in some keywords, and again, LSI keywords, so that YouTube and Google both know exactly what your video is about so that they give preferential treatment to your channel and to your video because they see you as an authority in that realm. And the last place where you wanna definitely put your keywords is in your tags, okay? Tags are supposedly becoming a little bit less important, but I'm gonna keep using them as long as they're working. And as long as I'm putting in tags, I can see what place I am on page one of Google or YouTube. So it's definitely important to add your keywords and your semantic keywords into your tags on your video. So have you been putting your keywords in all five of these places? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you've been optimizing your channel. Check out my keyword search playbook down below. It's totally free and it shares exactly step-by-step -step how to research and find keywords relevant to your topic or niche. Have you launched your YouTube channel yet? I wish I would have started my channel five years ago, to be honest, because I feel like things are really starting to gain traction and people are starting to see that YouTube video and audio is where it's at. Blogging is still there. Blogging is not dead, it's not going anywhere, but there are a lot of folks, especially 25 to 34 year olds that are ready to listen to video content and watch video content. That's what brought you here today and that's why you're watching this video. So if you haven't started your own YouTube channel, check out the tutorial up above on how to get started and how I grew to my first 100 subscribers. And just hit that subscribe button because I'm sharing all the money and blogging tips that you can handle. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.